Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a tutorial on this fall look right here using all drugstore brands and I try to use as many drugstore brand brushes that I have in my collection. But if I didn't, they're definitely affordable brushes that you already know and love. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to know how to get this look, just keep on watching. Hey guys, so I'm starting with no foundation on my face, but my eyebrows already filled in. I use the Ardell Brow Palette uh, to kind of fill in any sparse areas, and I use the medium brown shade right there in the corner. Next, I use the Ardell Brow Grooming Pencil to kind of tame my eyebrows a little bit and hold them in place. Next, I use the e.l.f. Uh, eyelash and brow wand to comb through those brows once more. And I'm using the NYX HD Primer to hold my foundation, which is the Maybelline Fit Me in Matte and Poreless. And I am the number 224, I believe. I really like this foundation. It's really, really nice. Um, it holds up really well, especially in the summer months. Next, I'm using the NYX Eyeshadow Base in Skin Tone. Next, I'm using the NYX Love in Paris palette. I just love this palette. It's beautiful and has lots of beautiful fall colors in there. And I'm going to be using the light, uh, kind of like whitish uh, matte shade in the palette just to go over my eyeshadow base and to set it. Next, I'll be taking my Morphe M504 brush and I'll be dipping that into the light brown matte shade in the palette and I'm going to run this through my crease as a transition shade. Next I'm taking my Target crease brush and I'm dipping that into the reddish color in the palette. This is a very beautiful color. I really love this color so much. And I'm just going to keep that in, um, in my crease, kind of just brush it in there while keeping my um, the end of my eye in a v-shape. Next I'm using Rimmel Scandalize Eyeshadow Pencil in Taupe and I'm just going to use this as a base for the next color that I'm going to put down because I want it to be, I just want it to pop a little bit more and I'm just going to blend this out with my finger. Next, I'm taking my Morphe M210 brush and I'm going to dip that into the bronzy um, shade in the palette. This is a really pretty color as well. And I'm just going to run that all over the lid space and just pack it on there. Next, I'm taking the dark ashy brown type of shade um, in the palette with my Target crease brush and I'm going to run that at the end of my eye in a V shape. And I'm just going to deepen up the, the eye and add some depth with that color. Next, I'm taking my Morphe M443 and the L'Oreal Infallible Gel Eyeliner, and I'm just going to use this to line my eyes. And I'm going to line the top lashes, and then I'm going to create a flick, and then just connect the two lines together. Just like so.
Next, I'm going to be taking my Morphe 210 brush and the light uh, shimmery shade in the palette, and I'm just going to use that to highlight the um, my brow bone, as well as the inner corners of my eyes. Next, I'm just going to be adding some mascara, and I'm using the Maybelline, I forgot what this was called, but I'll put it in the description bar below. I think I used this one in my last um, tutorial, so you can check that video out if you really want to know what kind of mascara I'm using. Then I'm going to moisturize my lips with the Maybelline Baby Lips in Peppermint. This is just the clear one, nothing fancy. I just need to prep my lips. Um, now I'm using Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in Light. I don't use the, um, the one for dark circles. I forgot what that one is called. But um, yeah, I don't use that one. I feel like it's a little too light for me. So I just go with the light shade. And I'm just going to put it under my eyes, um, down the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my forehead, um, just places where I want to highlight. So it's just going to act as my highlight and my concealer. And I'm just going to blend it out with a damp beauty sponge. This is the same one that I got at Sephora. Now I'm taking the e.l.f. Translucent Powder. I really like this powder, it's really cool. Um, I'm just using that to blend under, I mean to set my under eye. And I'm using that with a e.l.f. Tapered Brush. I really love that brush for the under eye. It just works and fits really well under there. Now I'm taking my e.l.f. Complexion Brush and the e.l.f. Contouring blur Brush and wait, brush, Blush and Bronzer Duo in Antigua. And I'm going to use the bronzer to obviously bronze my face and give myself a little bit of a contour. I don't want to go too heavy on the contour since this isn't a super dramatic fall look. So I'm just going to keep it light and just kind of bronze and just give myself a little bit of contour there. Run that on my forehead so I don't look like I have a five head. Now I'm taking my Milani blush in Luminoso. I love this color. It just kind of gives me a nice little wash of color. It doesn't really stand out but um, I don't want too much blush for this look. I just want to keep it nice and soft and just very subtle. Now I'm taking the Rimalize Scandalize Coal Pencil in brown and I'm going to tight line and line my waterline at the same time by closing my eyes and really getting that product right on the water lines. And then I'm just going to run it in between the lashes, on the bottom lashes, just to make sure that we have it nice and covered down there. Now I'm taking my e.l.f. smudge brush and I'm going to be using the middle dark shade, dark shimmery shade in the palette. And I'm going to use this to blend out the eye pencil that we just put on our waterline. Now I'm taking that same e.l.f medium um, shade brush and I'm dipping that into the red color and I'm just gonna blend that out that bottom water line out just a little bit more and now I'm going to complete my eye with see with some mascara on my bottom lashes and I'm going to be using my Ardell 120 Demi 
and the dark duo glue. I'm just gonna pop those lashes on, just like so. And now I wasn't sure which one I wanted to use between the CoverGirl and the Revlon, but I decided to go with the Revlon uh, number 477 Black Cherry. I really, really love this color. This is probably one of my favorite drugstore colors. Um, it's just a really beautiful, just really dark, vampy color. And I love it for the fall. And I didn't have a lip liner to go with this, so I'm just going to be using a lip brush and just go over my lip line and define the lips like so. And now I'm just going to take that shimmery light shade in the palette and use it as a highlight on the tops of my cheeks, down the center of my nose, and uh, a little bit on the tip of my nose. It just gives a really nice subtle little highlight. And then that is the complete look. I really hope that you guys liked it. If you do, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.